should have checked this. I'm sorry, can you help me with it? Hey, DJ. So you asked DJ, when am I going to come back to sing? They outlawed me from singing. Kendall going to be with us? I didn't know. Hi. Kendall. Oh, I think so. Pastor Kendall did not have a phone. That's why I'm not sure if he's going to be with us. Pastor oh, Kendall. He, he's still. Uh, uh, I talked to him a little while ago. Did he say he was going to come on? Yeah. Uh, you know what? We didn't talk about the YouTube thing. Uh, I we were just talking about the, the, the Bible study, and yeah, he's going to be there. So I got a feeling he's not going to be on, but we'll ask. Uh, what time is it? We got about eight minutes, but I wanted to start early. Anyways, let's uh, let's see if we can get him to come on. Let me send him a text. Kidoki. I text a little while ago. He may be setting up that new phone. Hold on a second, I'll give him a call. Thank you. Noah's mom is trying to, uh, Frank, we need to pray. She's trying to uh, make it so that Tim doesn't have him at all. His grandson. Yep. You're, you're talking about your grandson. Yes, sir, we will pray. Yeah, Noah. Hey, Pastor Kendall, I wanted to get started and have you pray and Andy with the shofar, okay? Oh, wow, yeah, I'm glad you called too, because I've been getting my new phone set up and everything. Yes, and, and you're getting, and you're getting ready, okay. and you're getting ready, go ahead. Who are you talking to, Andy? You. Uh, no. What's that, man? Remember when you asked me yeah. about doing the same thing? You can pray right now. He doesn't have to call me. Oh, no. I, I don't have, I didn't get it yet. I'm still, I'm, let me finish the phone with my phone and then I'll call you back. You, you can yeah. pray right now. Hey, Kendall. Kendall. Yeah. You can yeah. pray right now. We're all listening to you with no problem. Who's listening? We are. We're on, we're live. Uh, I'm going to hit record in oh, just a few I minutes. Oh, we're live. Let me act, let me act up happily. Through, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ready? Three, two, one, go. The recording has started. Greetings, family. Welcome to another one of your Frank 26 UBTubies. We are KTFAlways.com. Stands for Keep the Faith Always in Our Heavenly Father. We're a Christian based organization, and before we do anything on our UBTubie tonight, 
we go to our Father's throne room in prayer. We have our pastor, our KTFA pastor, Pastor Kendall, and our brother Andy, who will blow the shofar for the prayer, and then we'll get to work. Gentlemen, the floor is yours. Thanks, Frank. Good evening, good evening, good evening. You know, uh, my prayer is this, is that if someone's here on this line and you don't know Jesus, if you don't know him for the pardoning of your sins, that's just as simple as I can get. You're hellbound. I, I can't sugarcoat it. You know, I can't make it sweet. It only becomes sweet when we know that to be absent from this body is to be present with the Lord in Jesus. But without him, you think this earth is bad? You think your situation is bad? He gets worse. And so my prayer is, is that you, wherever I'm talking to, God has been trying to reach your heart, but you've been stubborn. You've been denying him. Please, today is the day of your salvation. Today is the day. Cry out to him. All you have to do is believe what, I, what we've been teaching you and cry out with a prayer like this. If you really desire to be saved, if you really desire to be with the Lord when you leave this earth, pray this prayer after me. Dear God, I know I'm a sinner. I know that I can't save myself. But God, I believe what your word says about Jesus. I believe he came for my sins. I believe he was crucified on the cross where he died, where they pierced him in the side, where his blood came running down for the for the for forgiveness of sin. God, I believe that. And so God, please come into my life and save me. Thank you, God for saving me. Now God help me to learn more about you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, we are so excited for you. Because at that moment, if you believed in your heart, God said, I'll save you. We rejoice with you. So does the heavens. Father, we come right now, and God, we thank you for each person that hears this prayer, and they prayed, God, for salvation. Now, God, I pray that you would enter into their heart, that you would love them, God, and that you would lead them to a church, God, that you would lead them, that they may grow in your grace. Thank you, Father. Now, God, bless tonight. Bless this call. Lord, give Frank the strength that he needs, God, to do what he needs to do, that we would rejoice in what we hear. God, we're ready. Lord, we're waiting on you. Lord, we stand at attention waiting on you. So, God, we thank you for Frank and Jan. Thank you for their strength. Bless those that work with him from walking stick all the way down to Eddie. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen, amen, and amen. 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 Thank you, gentlemen. Um, to, when I finish the conference call here, I'll end it with a prayer on my own, and then I will direct everybody to go to the Bible study tonight and follow us, okay? Great. You guys, be great. Yes, Thank that you, way you guys get ready and be in position to start as soon as I'm done. God bless you, gentlemen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Andy.
Well, well, family, it's good to be with you. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't able to be with you last Monday. They hit me with my fourth chemotherapy, and um, yeah, it was a bit rough. Uh, I went through some problems, and it's not easy going through chemotherapy, but I am blessed to be able uh, to be a part of this. Do you remember about two weeks ago? It was on the news. It was everywhere. By the way, thank you, DJ. That's, he did it again. That's twice he's done. Uh, for all of you that are giving me thumbs up, I really appreciate that. I found out that the thumbs up are important to advertise my form. <laughs> I didn't even know that. And we also have the opportunity, like DJ just donated $2. Uh, thank you for your donations, uh, for your love gifts um, to stay on the air and to pay our bills. Thank you kindly. I'm honored. Um, so what, what I wanted to say is that um, they hit me hard, and I was not able to be with you this past Monday. I apologize. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your prayers for my wife. God has us. He, he has us in his hands. And, um, and I'm very grateful because it was about um, two weeks ago that most of you saw on the television where there was, uh, I think it was a dozen, yeah, yeah, uh, colon, uh, colon cancer victims, uh, or patients, I should say, that were treated under a new gene therapy program. Okay, you with me so far? Okay. The program, the gene therapy, is uh, the, it's got a, a prefix and a suffix. The suffix is Landamab. And if you remember in the last two years that I've been with you with this cancer, I told you that thanks to President Donald Trump, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be alive right now, in my opinion. <laughs> he, he played an important part because he signed the right to try. And the Luanda Mab gene immune therapy was experimental. You couldn't take it unless you applied under Donald Trump's right to try. I did. And for 18 months, they gave me Lorandamab. And it never, ever metastasized. It never spread all over my body. God kept me close to him and protected me. It turns out that what you saw on the news, the mob, new technology and gene therapy is what they're going to give me. In two weeks, I will be done with my chemotherapy and I will be walking into immunotherapy. And I'm just very, very grateful to God that two and a half years later, here I am right now at this moment in human history time telling you that I'm so grateful for what God has done for me. And I found out that he will do it for you if you just ask. I know it sounds difficult to believe. I know that your guilt maybe doesn't want you to believe that you can be forgiven. I not only was forgiven, but I have developed a relationship with my Heavenly Father that I so, I so want to teach, I so want you to know about, that I, that, that I, that I find myself panicking. Make, I, I don't want you to be left out. There's a truth in God's Word. And that truth is found in the Bible. Started with Ten Commandments. If you could just look at those Ten Commandments, apply them in your life in some way or another, be obedient to the Word of God. If you could just apply yourself to those Ten Commandments, because as far as I know, God has not lowered His standards of those Ten Commandments. 
May God bless you in yours, in your life, in your quest to know who Jesus Christ is. Amen. So I wasn't able to be with you last Monday because of my chemotherapy. But I was with you the Monday before, wasn't I? We even did an extra ub 2 last week. I believe that we did. I can't remember. But what was it that we talked to you about? Here, let me see. <laughs> That's nice. All honor and glory to God. And bless you all. God bless you all. What was it that we talked about? There's Earl. Oh, e Elam am I saying that right? Elamite. Elamite. Thank you, Elamite. God bless you for your donation. Uh, yes, uh, to Earl Miller. Uh, free one day, uh, young SC, uh, Betsy, Timothy, Chris, all of you. Look at you, all you, all you good students. Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Linton. Linton, God bless you for your donation. Family. We surprised the internet, walking stick and I. Oh, and by the way, everything that I'm going to share with you tonight is just in my opinion. And I have to finish about about 10 minutes before 7 o'clock because our Bible study uh, with Pastor Kendall starts at 7, okay? So i got to hurry up. Um, we, we brought to you some information that uh, was surprising to a lot of people. We told you that the first, that there would be some meetings with the CBI and some very, very powerful international groups. Jan, I'm trying my best to do everything. Can you help me and tell me when somebody pulls up so yeah. I can say thank well. you to them? I know I saw that. Thank you, Will Ortiz. God bless you. Thank you for your donation. And we said that the CBI would be meeting with IMF, the World Bank, even with the uh, United Nations. Uh, we never mentioned the United, the United States Treasury, though, did we? No, because they were done. And if you go back two, three months ago, you see that uh, you, 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 went to, uh, you went to the U.S. Treasury, uh, CBI, yeah. says, the, says Parliament. What would you talk about? None of your business. Well, we want to know. Give us a report. No. So when they come to Baghdad, thank you, uh, name here. <laughs> name here. <laughs> They forgot to put their name. <laughs> and to uh, Marlo. <laughs> Thank you, Marlo. Beautiful picture of you, man. And um, they said no. Uh, okay. So when they came from Washington, D.C., back to Baghdad, uh, they asked them, what you guys talk about? We're not going to tell you. So the next thing you know, you've got Mustafa meeting with the Minister of Finance, Minister of Planning, you know, the good guys, and telling him, this is what we uh, uh, agreed upon. This is what we've got. And then the sequence of events that happened after that, which was setting up the monetary reform internationally. And we talked about float the dinar. You, you, know, you know, look at all your notes, okay. But then, not this Monday, but the Monday before, we floored the internet because we came on and we said, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to tell you, um, open up a new file. There are going to be discussions with uh, the uh, CBI and a lot of powerful entities discussing uh, the ATM machines. There, uh, the, there will be, there will be, there, there won't be a need to elaborate on the new small category notes because all of these meetings and the exchange rates have been agreed upon. The important thing that they're dealing with now is the CBI and the IMF meetings to discuss and agree on what they're going to be doing with the ATM machines. Now, that's what we introduced to you, and it kind of floored everybody, and a lot of people said, what? Where did that come from? There's no information, there's no articles, there's no other guru. Funny enough, three days ago, I get a phone call. Frank, Frank, what? You got to go, 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 listen to this guy. No, I don't listen to anybody else. They listen to me. What do you want? He just said that, that, that they got new ATM machines in, in Baghdad. I said, they got thousands of them now. They're all over the place. I told you already. Yeah, but he said that he got a brand new five and a brand new 10 new small category notes. He's lying. 
People will take what we share with you and take it to the next level exaggeration to attract, to attract your attention to their sights. He's flat out lying. There are no new small category notes out yet. But what there are is these ATM machines, and we told you that they were going to be available. We told you that they would be out. We told you that they would be put in very, very heavy populated areas, and they are. They're being put in. The new T we told you about the logos, and uh, and they would be MasterCard and Visa, both of them together. Um, what is the title of our UB2B? What did we say about the ATM machines? Exactly what they said yesterday in two articles. We told you that the articles would start to come out, didn't we? And it would be in detailed it would be in detail. Now, the articles that came out are not in detail yet, but they're starting to break it down. They'll eventually, we, we talked to you about the bunch presentation. Remember the note presentations and the bunches and the groupings that they'll be giving them, to them? We talked to you about the colors. We talked to you about the herbal Iraqi stock exchange and the herbal stock exchange, how these areas uh, would be populated with these ATM machines for the bunch presentation because of the fact that they are large areas of, of populace th and businesses. This is going to hit regions where there is high business needs so that the new small category notes can prolificate. It's not, a lot of you are saying, this is gonna be insane. Thank you, DB. Thank you, DB, for your, for your love offering. God bless you. A lot of you have called me and said, it, it's insane. How are they gonna be able to get every Iraqi citizen the new uh, small category note? I said, I already explained it on my UB2Bs. They will be limited. Well, that's what bunch presentation is. Most of it will be electronic. Anyways, um, so the CBI and Kazemi are not wasting time. They're going about their business and getting all the reforms done. Are they dealing with uh, uh, the new small category notes and the exchange rates now? Uh, yes. Yes. Why do I say this so boldly? Because the CBI boldly puts out these new ATM machines. Now, do they still have the three zero notes in them? Yes. They don't have the new small category notes in them yet? No. Well, then that means that they're going to just stay with the three zero notes, Frank. They're never ever going to change them. No. I want to thank Pat Sullivan. Thank you kindly for your donation. God bless you. Are the files about the ATM machines? Walking Stick is trying to communicate with me. Look, I'll share this much with you. I gotta hide his name. Oh man, I can't hide his name. Thank you. Oh my word. You know what? I might as well just say goodnight. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you what he just sent me right now. I might as well just say goodnight. So I'm asking him. Oh, this thing is sliding off. Man. David Dyer. Huh? Donation. Thank you, David Dyer. Thank you for your donation. God bless you. So right now, it just came through. How do I do? Oh, I know. Wait, I know how. I'll take a picture of this. There, I got a picture. Yeah, okay. So I'm telling him, sir, I'm going on the air now. Is there anything that you can share with us with our notes? Call it in and Jan will take it. Then he says, not yet. I'm working through a ton of stuff. It's all coming in via uh, whatever. Uh, and I say to him, are the files about the ATM machines that you know want to share? And he said, well, here's what he said. He says, yep, and more. Okay, yeah, well, this is getting serious, family. Hold on, let me delete this screenshot, delete. Yeah, it's getting serious. In fact, what did I say to him earlier? 
here I can show you, I think, this, because it doesn't show his name anywhere. Oh, it does. God bless it. <laughs> but he says, look, I'll call in a little bit. I'm online with everybody right now. Everyone is calling in. So, what is it that's going on? Uh, you already know. <laughs> you already know. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to backtrack a little bit here. And I'm going to try to uh, ask you to come and sit down with me here. And let's just, uh, you know, kick off our sandals and, and think about this a little bit. You see... And, and I can take the time to read to you Eddie's report. It's bloody long. Golly, it's just, and I, and I don't have the strength in all honesty. So let, let me gather around. It's not a blue couch. It is all in my opinion. <laughs> Everything I'm saying is in my opinion. But gather around as we try to understand what's going on. Sutter. Hey, Mr. Holiday, thank you for your love offering. Sodder, as you all know, has, been a, has had a bad reputation with the Iraqi citizens, sided with Iran, shouldn't have done that, sided with the Shiites. Sodder is a survivalist, kind of like a cockroach. Even a nuclear explosion won't kill a cockroach. It's really difficult to get rid of solder as much yeah. as they tried. Thank you, Trish. How you doing? It's good to see you. And, and solder, as much as he wanted political power, it was only going to come from Iran. So, ladies and gentlemen, what happened? Sadr, what happened? Uh... I lost my political power. You did? Yeah. How? Uh, Kazimi took control. And Mustafa took control of the CBI. Yeah. Uh, and I had no power through parliament because Kazimi took over parliament. Uh, yeah. And they've been running the government with a... <laughs> with their own government. I can't even suggest anything anymore. So the people of Iraq, they said to me, well, you're a good guy, right? You, 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 you are helping us. You said that the value, the exchange rate was going to go up. We're going to have value to our currency. You said that the reforms are coming for us. You've said a lot of good things to us, Sadr. What's up? Hey, Sadr, tell you what. What? We voted for you. Uh -huh. Yeah, we want you to stick around. What do you think? Lead us. Kathy, Thank you, Kathy, Chris. Hi, sweetie. Uh, lead us. And Sauter's like, hey, well, hey, 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 I don't know. <laughs> because he lost everything. What are you going to do with a gun except throw it at somebody's face? If there's no bullets in it, it's useless pretty much. Sauter is useless. Go to the guy above him. Who was it? Malachi. <laughs> Malachi is beyond useless. In fact, Sauter came out a few days ago, and he told the Iraqi citizens, and boy, Eddie wasn't pleased, but he told the Iraqi citizens, nah. What do you mean, nah? Nah. Nah. Nah, I'm not going to be your president. I'm not going to hold any political office. In fact, I'm retiring. W what? Do you mean you're going to give everything over to the Shiites? What happened? No, I'm not giving anything to anybody. I'm just not going to do any... Po huh? Thank you, Madeline. Thank you. God bless you. I'm just not going to do anything. I don't want to do more po any more politics. And the citizens of Iraq did not like that attitude. You are a coward. You are a traitor. You are against us, Iraqi citizens. You don't have the power from parliament. You don't have the power from parliament that was using Iran to take the money from the citizens of Iraq. You don't have your power anymore to hurt us. Terry. Thank you, Terry. Uh, Walters. Walters. Thank you, Terry Walters. God bless you. Um, he, won't he won't admit it. He won't confess it. 
He just was telling the citizens, I want to retire. So the citizens, Eddie, they all go out into the streets. They go out in the streets and they just yell and scream. They're not causing any problems, but they're letting him know. Why you two-timing lying as son of a gun, you? Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, uh, Jeffrey, so much. Um, and he really doesn't care. They elected him to lead the Iraqi citizens. He chickened out because he lost his power from the Iranian influence in the parliament and in the CBI. Now, family, that is a very good reason for you and I to celebrate and to give thanks to the, to the Lord above. I told you, Kazemi's in control. Eddie kept telling me, well, Frank, now that we don't have solder, what are we gonna do? Don't worry about it, there's a plan. But Frank, we don't have solder. Now the Sudanese are gonna take, what are we gonna do? Eddie, chill. And today they found out, and you'll find out later as well, too, but I'm not ready to share that. Oh, yeah, Sada, you want to leave? There's the door. Don't let it hit your gluteus maximus. Any of you. In fact, you're all leaving, aren't you? <laughs> it worked. It, wor it worked very well. What worked? Nothing to talk about. It just worked. So, we've got political, uh, well, okay, then who, 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 who's next? Uh, I, I suggest, uh, says, the, says the Sunnis, uh, uh, we suggest, we, we suggest Maliki to be uh, the president now, too. <laughs> oh, you silly rabbits, just go ahead and keep on talking to yourselves, because you're, you're talking, you're talking, you're talking to you, you're blue in the face. The political, um, um, the political structure in Iraq has changed dramatically. And, 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 and what was it that they did uh, just, oh gosh, I think about five, six days ago? Um, hey, Sid, thank you. God bless you, Sid. And what was it that they did? Oh, dear God, I, I lost my, uh, hold on, walking. Calm is bad getting beat up by storms. I'm on the air for about 30 more minutes if you get lucky. Thank you, sir. Here, family, this is what he's trying to tell me right now. He's trying to communicate with me. We have information about the ATM machine articles that came out today. But unfortunately, his uh, comm system is uh, being hit. They have a horrible storm where he... Sorry. All right, so the political structure in um, Iraq is uh, swinging like a pendulum swings over in the right direction. And that's why the auctions are well under control. That's why you see Kazimi talking about what he's doing with his government. That's why Mustafa, yesterday was his birthday. Happy birthday to you, Mustafa. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> and um, Mustafa is um, educating the, uh, the, the, the banks around the world right now. You have seen the articles. We'll go over them in just a little bit. You have seen the articles, right? Oh, my word. I can't even, I, I lost count. When I got up over 100, I lost count. I don't even know how many banks have come to see the CBI and have a meeting with them. Bank after bank after bank after bank from all around the world. Um, when you see that, you can't help but to wonder that, 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 that a, a formation, a, an agreed structural formation is being formed right now to be released. And it's traveling pretty fast, I think. I honestly think it's fast. David uh, Dyer, thank you, David. God bless you. Look, I want to show you the articles because we told you, not this Monday, a week ago Monday, about the ATM machines. We told the Internet, and then other gurus exaggerated. Oh, yeah, we see them. Oh, yeah, here I got small category notes. You're a bunch of liars, all of you. Shame on you. You take what we have, and then you exaggerate it. So anyways, I want you to think about this. You should write this down. When you see activity at the uh, uh, Iraqi uh, and herbal stock exchange, 
when you see 35 private banks in Iraq meeting privately behind closed doors with World Bank and IMF, when you see seven state banks in Iraq having their own meeting as well with the CBI governor, when you see 330 private banks in Iraq coming to meetings with financial institutions that, that, that are involving the Arab Union of Banks, you know, you got to be fair about this. Fair to yourself. Combine all of this together with the announcement of, of today's uh, two articles about the ATM machines that we told you would be coming out. One of those articles I'm about to show you talks about the recycling currency. Not the recycling of currency, but the recycling currency. What do you think that means? Recycle currency. Recycle trash. Well, we're going to use that trash again. Recycle currency. What you got right now? Well, here, use this instead. Uh, you put all of these words, all these thoughts that are in the articles together in your head, and you start to figure it out, you understand that uh, they're, they are moving very fast to introduce to the citizens a new monetary reform. Not about no politics. Not about no solder. Here in the United States of America, we have a government that is also uh, doing some things that, I don't know, they just don't make sense. And in Iraq, for them to be talking about Maliki and Sadr and these political issues, <laughs> none of that is important. None of that is important in Iraq. In the United States, what they're talking about right now, it's not important. What is important is... <laughs> Interest rates went up today at a record level. We can't get baby food. Our Afghanistan soldiers are still dying. Our borders are open. These, you know, gas prices, a recession coming. These are the most important topics, but not once even talked about by our own government. Fascinating. But the media is now talking about it and catching up. Same thing in Iraq. Iraq uh, media, there we go again. Hmm. There's a commonality there, isn't there? Because there's a connection between all media. The media in the Middle East is being used uh, to say what they want to say. Hmm. And thank God we have people like Eddie. Peggy. Huh? Oh, thank you, Peggy Turner. How you doing, Peggy? Thank God that we have uh, good sources. Thank God that you've got KTFA final article thread where those are the articles that you want to pay attention to. All the other ones, <laughs> they don't add up to a hill of beans. They don't, even re they don't even reference anything that is going on right now with our study. And what is our study? The monetary reform and the economic reform. Is it about politics? Is it about, you know, presidents, uh, uh, prime ministers, uh, elections? Uh, I want to vote for that law. Is it about any of that? No. No, no, no. And right now, at this very moment, walking stick is being bombarded with data, is the right word to say. We're going to look at this, and we're going to determine what we can share with you. Now, let's see how far... And by the way, they're going to... They, they've already talked about the colors. They've already shown the colors to the to these banks. They've already uh, um, they've kept the security of the new small category notes sealed, nice and tight. They've only shown specimens and and uh, samples. Ah, the Iraqi banks have been shown all of these new small category notes four times at least in this year alone. But the problem is though that they showed it to them in black and white uh, to to hide the true colors. They showed them the holograms and the security strips, strips that are on uh, featured in these new, um, new small category notes. Eddie, uh, Walking Stick, and I are very convinced that Eddie will very soon see the rollout of the new ATM machines. Well, guess what? He's seeing them. 
But in my opinion right now, um, there was a movement of hundreds and soon to be thousands that would be brought out. Oh, there's a lot of notes here, family, but you, you got all of these notes. You already know. I think what is important right now is that I show you, that I show you the articles that came out. Say hello to Bevan. Hmm? Say hello to Bevan. Bevan! Bevan's on? Hey, mate. How you doing? Our, um, our conference call tonight is going to be quite a ripper. Yeah, it's going to be really good. <laughs> good to see, see you, uh, Bevan, from Australia, mate. Alrighty, um, Tink, you're gonna have to help me. That's all there is to it. So, come on over here and 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 just make sure that we're aimed right here. Okay, I'll move it over this way, and that way I can stand next to it. You say when we're zoomed in on it. Take my glasses off. So the title of our UBTB is. Go ahead and zoom in a little more, honey. Uh, the title of our ub 2 b is, What Did We Say About the ATM Machines? Well, let's, let's just go back. Go back to uh, the last uh, uh, ub 2 b that we were together at. And I showed you this article. Notice that the picture is missing, isn't it? All right, the picture is missing, and we don't really know why, but we'll just leave it at that. And what I said was, ready, set, go. The governor of the central bank uh, inspects the work of a of, of, of a smaller private bank. Well, that was last week. This week, let it be known that uh, Mustafa has inspected all of his private banks in Iraq. Ready, set, go. What do you think they're ready and set to go to? Uh, the next, this article, as you can see, there's another chunk here missing, a picture. The pictures were left out for some reason. I don't know. We'll leave it at that. All right, the next one says, uh, the Central Bank of Iraq meets the International Islamic Rating Agency. Why? 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 What, what, what in the world would the Islamic International Rating Agency want to do with a program rate? You can't do anything with it. So this is a telltale sign, so obvious family. They're talking about how they're going to float the dinar outside of their of their walls internationally with banks. And when you read the article, you get excited because, golly, this is what you've been studying. This next one right here goes into a, into it a little bit deeper. The governor of the central bank discusses the 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 obstacles to work uh, uh, of the Islamic Bank with the international rating agency. Look at this, Turkey. Uh, banks from around the world coming in to talk to the central bank. For what reason, family? For a new exchange rate, for a new currency, for the things that they have been prepared for. This is another article right there that can be of uh, great help to you on that subject. Now, let's move this up and go to final article number 1,608. The Central Bank of Iraq decides to sell the dollar to pilgrims at the official exchange rate. At the official exchange rate. Now, why did we put this up? This is just for people that are taking money to go across their borders on pil, you know, uh, on religious pilgrimages. Thank you, Robin uh, Arnold. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, the, it, what, uh, what I put in blue up on top, you can see where, it's, uh, where it says uh, F26. That's my quote for the article. The CBI knows where every dinar is at. The CBI knows where, er Mustafa knows where every one of his children are at. That's a good governor of the CBI. Uh, how much currency do you have out in the streets? I don't know, a few, a few uh, trillion. What? That sounds like our uh, financial people that uh, work for our government. He knows where everything is at, and that is security and stability. The Central Bank of Iraq decides to sell the dollar to pilgrims, part two, you can read it. Then, look what happened today. Final article, number 1,609. It says, 
Debold Nistroff, which is a company, by the way, deploys new ATMs in Iraq. Hmm. To which uh, my blue quote says what? Just like Walking Stick and I told you, the CBI is right on course with the ATMs. And they are. Here is what I promised you. Here's what Walking Stick and I promised you. Now, we also promised you that the article was going to be in depth. In depth. Paula, you want to know how to donate? Right underneath the video, you see, well, right in the chat. It's right underneath chat where you're chatting. Right underneath it is. Next to the smiley face. Ah, next to the smiley faces. There you go. Thank you, military vet. Thank you. So it's at the bottom of chat. Thank you, Yeti. Yeti is Isabel. I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you. God bless you. Now look at this, family. We told you the last time I was with you, I sold Walking Stick and I prepared you. We prepared you with two UB2Bs in depth telling you what they were going to say and do. This is just the beginning. Get it? You do belong to KTFAlways.com, right? You don't. Well, you should. Because you need to read this article. And then look, underneath it, another one. Another one. A few hours after that one. By the way, thank you, Samson. I'm so proud of you. Al-Qatar Islamic Bank taps the bold next to deploy ATMs in Iraq. <laughs> Actually, the governor of the CBI did, but you can take the credit if you want Al-Qatar Islamic Banks. Everybody wants to take the credit. <laughs> This is amazing. Now, these two articles about the new ATM machines that are coming out by the hundreds and actually it says by the thousands is what we told you that they would release. And they're going to release more. Now look right underneath it. Yeah. You, I'm sorry? Yeah. Oh, Annie Ferguson. Thank you, Annie. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now look right there, family. This is part of what we told you. This is just the beginning. And I will admit, <laughs> it came out faster than we thought. I, thank you, Pamela. Thank you, Re, Rebel. If I'm, I hope I'm saying R E I B L E. Uh, thank you, Pamela. God bless you. We told you that the articles would be coming out, but I didn't think they were going to come out this quick, family, to be honest with you. And they're not as in-depth yet. They're starting to lay out the foundation of what you have in your notes. Now, this one right here is really good. There's also a video of it. But um, I didn't put the link, so at least you have a picture. You can blow it up. You can get an idea. Uh, this machine is for you, citizens, and this is what it'll do for you. La, 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 la. Wow, well, that's new. Yeah, it's also going to have new category notes and new exchange rates and et cetera, et cetera. The next uh, article that uh, we're bringing to you is final article number 1610. It says that the Central Electronic Platform for Letters of Guarantee enhanced confidence in banking transactions. Really? Yeah. Well, tell me, all you banks from around the world that have come in to see Mustafa at the CBI, are you pleased with what's going on? Yeah. What are you really uh, finding interesting right now? The ATM machines are not only domestic in the country of Iraq, but they're international. And if they are international, that means you have a change in your currency coming. Family, please enjoy this article. Right there in the blue, wherever you see blue in F26, that's my quote. Please enjoy this article because it's everything that we told you that was going to happen. But the depthness, the explanation, the breakdown, the, uh, the, the nitty-gritty of how the citizens are going to be uh, educated is still to come. And I believe that that's what's happening with Walking Stick right now. We knew that there would be another big, big uh, uh, call that would be coming in. Walking Stick has been on the phone since early this morning. He's going on 12 hours on being on the phone. Do you think that there's a lot of information that we have? All honor and glory go to God. He, he, he put together a wonderful team at KTFA, and I'm very proud of them. And I'm glad that you are able to, uh, uh, to study with us and, 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 and respect you know, what, what it is that we're bringing to you. 
Ah, DJ, that's a very good idea. Hold on, let me drink some water here. Ah, there's uh, my cup. <laughs> so, what does this one say? Um, final article number 1611 says communication announced the allocation of two orbits for the Iraqi satellite launch project. And my blue quote says satellites are for international communication, dude. <laughs> Isn't that correct, Musk? Yeah. <laughs> Family, you're not going to be putting up satellite <laughs> For for a central bank uh, to communicate um, to communicate um, a program rate around the world. <laughs> no, it don't work that way. Anyway, so that was a good article. The next one is uh, final article number one thousand six hundred and twelve. Diana. Oh, thank you, Diana Turner, and your husband. Thank you. God bless you, folks. Uh, the next one, final article, number 1,612. Al-Kazimi leaves the coordination framework meeting because of Al-Maliki and uh, Kazali. Yeah, you, you know, I wasn't going to put this up, family. This is the only political article that I'm putting up because it covers what I already talked to you about. Hey, Kazimi, yeah, where you at? Oh, I'm here. Yeah. Thank you, Robin. Oh, Robin and that little boy. Damon. Damon, yeah. Thank you, Damon and Robin. So, yeah, here, let me role play. Uh, Kazimi, where you at? I'm here at this boring meeting with Parliament. Really? What are they talking about? I don't know. I'm not paying attention to them. I think they want, I don't know, Sadr wants not to run. He's getting out of politics. I don't know. It's a bunch of nonsense. Uh, well, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to get up and walk out of this meeting. This is garbage. I don't want to know anything about Maliki and Sadr and all. I got my own plans for Iraq. Yes, sir, you do. And look at the blue quote that I gave it. Kazimi knows that Parliament is, uh, is stifled. <laughs> stifled. I should have said neutered. Anyways, next uh, article, final article number 1613. His Excellency, Dr. I can't even begin to say all that. And all of these other excellencies, CCs, whatever. What? We're all meeting with the CBI. You guys are from all over the world, from the Arab Monetary Fund. You're from this guy. You're from that guy. Uh, I even said it earlier. The, the, you got seven state banks. You got 33 private banks. You got uh, 330 uh, internal banks. You've got all of them meeting with financial institutions and meeting with the Arab Union of Banks. And now you come out with these ATM uh, uh, articles. Yeah, we know what you're doing. The CBI and, and the international banks are meeting for a very good reason. Oh, Michael. Hey, Busa. Hi, Hey, Busa. Boy, she's been with us from the very beginning. And Michael, thank you. God bless you, folks. God bless you. So, um, yeah, this is <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Look at this. Now, as you scroll and you read, your eyes should get bigger and bigger because you come to the realization none of these people, none of these powers would be talking about toilet paper currency. None of them would be talking to the CBI, Mustafa, if there wasn't a return for them as well. This one. The governor of the Central Bank of Iraq receives the president of the Union of the Arab Banks. What for? They'll find out. All right. Next one. Final article number 1614. Al-Fashid uh, Alliance uh, confirms that the 2022 budget will be passed after the formation of the new government. <sighs> <laughs> Boring. What is it that I tell you? Well, that's what we keep saying. And that's what they keep saying, don't they? Thank you, Joe Ortiz. That's what we keep saying. And that's what they keep saying, don't they? Look, as soon as we get the 2022 budget, uh, you know, the formation of our new government, you'll have the budget. And you know what's in the budget. That's what they keep telling us, don't they, family? Over and over and over again, don't they? Hmm. Fascinating. 
Final article number 1,615. $180 a barrel, expectation of a big jump in oil prices. Pammy, do you remember in January when it was set at 47 and in February we told you, no, no, this is going to go to 100 By the end of uh, March, I told you that it would be at about 150 and then I told you that right around now, June and July, it would be at about $200 a barrel. Um, what do you think this, this, this type of uh, uh, value does for the Iraqi dinar? Well, ask Saudi Arabia what it does for their pockets. It's a very, very powerful article. And that's the last one, I believe. Uh, yep, that's the last one. So now let's turn this over. Thank you, sweetheart. So the CBI is, what time is it? Ooh, I forgot, I'm almost out of time. So the CBI is now starting to roll out the newer ATM machines in Iraq. And once they are in line, even the ones in Iraq, in Iraq uh, that will be activating the uh, international status of the ATM machines with the Visa and MasterCards will be shown to the citizens. Uh, also, the citizens uh, will be told when these ATM machines will go online. Online, There is a predetermined date that they have selected. We call it the titanium date. Uh, the quarter will, the uh, the quarter was asked when will they be attached? Question. No, I better not do that one. Alrighty, so that's that, and uh, we already reviewed these notes. So I'm not going to take the time to read Eddie's report because I I kind of talked about it already. They don't like you know the political nonsense that's going on right now. I don't blame I don't blame the Iraqi citizens. And they're protesting, but they're doing peacefully. I wish that they would understand that none of that is important. Like in the United States, I wish they would understand that all the things that we're seeing political, it's not important. What's important is what's going to happen in November of this year. Well, I... Um, I, I pray that you were informed tonight. I pray that you were updated on the information that we gave you about the ATM machines. My prayer is also that the information was uh, uh, accurate and easy to understand and not exaggerated like uh, some of you have called me and told me, oh yeah, you were right. And they're telling me they're pulling out tens and fives of new small category notes. No, they're lying to you. Um, whenever someone exaggerates like that, all you have to do is go to cbi dot iq. Yep. Got it? Write it down. cbi dot iq. That's the official website of the CBI, and you'll be able to see the official exchange rate. So don't let anybody make a fool of you and, and give you false, you know, hope because it just depresses you when you find out that they lied to you mike. thank you mike thank you mike Fuller. thank you very very much so we know that the political nonsense is uh not important and you can filter that out by being a member of ktfoes.com and going into our final article thread and seeing which articles we have in there and finally i showed you what walking stick uh has been sending me. He's being loaded for bear right now. I told you I was surprised. I truly, sincerely am surprised that we are seeing this already. I thought maybe we'd see it by closer to the end of the month going into next month. That's their style. They do everything. They drag their feet. But it's Parliament. It's Iran that drags their feet. <laughs> Par Iran said, hey, thank you very much for paying uh, the electricity bill that you owed us. Yeah, thank you for paying the debt that you owed us. Yeah, okay, yeah. 
<laughs> the only reason the only reason Iraq paid that off to you, Iran, is because they don't want nothing to do with you. They owe you nothing, do they? Here, what else we owe you? Now get out of here. Anyways, um, so there it is. I'm going to now see what report Walking Stick has. We're going to see articles more than likely from now until the end of the weekend about the ATM machines. It's going to get louder and louder. And uh, because of the fact that Walking Stick is telling me that he's being hit hard right now with a lot of intel, excuse me, a lot of data, um, I got a feeling that we're going to be learning a lot more about these ATM machines in relationship with the citizens very soon. I would love to be able to stay with you, and, and I was going to open it up to questions and answers because I'm sure you have a lot of questions. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Someone called me and they said, Frank, are there going to be private banks in, in the United States? I said, all over the world. The CBI has private banks all over the world. Frank, will I be able to go into one of those private CBI banks here in the United States and cash my Iraqi dinars and leave them as Iraqi dinars? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question but you're cheating no banks that come in to do business in the United States have to follow the banking laws uh, of the international world no it won't work that way and there are many other questions that you have and I'll be glad to answer them but right now I'm going to say goodbye to you we're going to dismiss ourselves with a prayer and I'll say goodbye and then we uh, uh, we ask you to to join. Oh, I have, we have Dil, Dilmus. 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 Hi, Dilmus. Thank you kindly. Love you too. <laughs> uh, we ask you to go, uh, go to our Bible study with Pastor Kendall and his gang. Uh, Tink, can we put that phone number up? Oh, it's the one that they're listening to right now, yeah. aren't they? Oh dear. Claire will put it up in a second. Yeah, Claire will put up the information, but please join us for our Bible study afterwards, and it'll be nice to be with you all and. And give thanks to our Heavenly Father for the things that uh, we're seeing. Speaking of that, let us be dismissed with a prayer right now, okay? Join me. Bow your heads and pray with me. Abba, Holy Father, I enter your throne room by the blood of your Son, Jesus, my Lord, my Savior. I believe in him, God. I believe that he was crucified, he was murdered on the cross, and you, you arose him three days later. I believe in that, Father. I believe that he was the ultimate sacrifice that allows me to be righteous in front of you. I believe in your Son. I believe in you, Holy Father, and I believe in the Holy Spirit. And I believe in your Word. Your Word is true. You are true. You are good. And I know and I have learned in these last few years that if I ask you something with a true and sincere heart, that you will answer it. Thank you, Father. It has been a long journey for most of us. We've had some very, very low times, difficult times. Financially, we're being hurt right now. We've lost family members. We miss them. We've had some hard times. And yet, in the same breath, we have had some extremely high, exciting times. Papa, a minister once told me that the lowest point in the United States, 48 continental states, is, is a place called Dead Valley. It's the lowest place in the United States. And yet, right next to it is Mount McKinley, the highest point in the United States. I find it fascinating that you put the lowest point and the highest point right next to each other, for it exemplifies our lives. We can go from the highest to the lowest, from the lowest to the highest in a moment. But we will always be with you. We will always be in your secret hiding place. We will always sit by you. We will always be loyal and true to you because you were first loyal and true and loved us first. I pray for everyone that's with us tonight I pray that you touch their hearts, that they get closer to your son, 
that they want to know why is it that my relationship with you is so different now and so strong. It is because I have learned to believe in your word. I thank you for tonight and I thank you for what is soon to come from our teams. All honor and glory to you. Thank you for the food of this day that nourished me. And forgive me as I forgive others. For it is in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, that I pray to you by the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Ooh, you scare me. <laughs> if you want to blow the show far, go right ahead. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. God bless you. I'll see you at the Bible study. And thank all of you. If you need me for anything, my name is Frank. My phone number is 419-283-2552. 419-283-2552. I support myself on the internet with our products. If you have any interest in any of our products, I appreciate your support. I um, I'm also a registered agent with a licensed broker with the United States Treasury. So if you have the need, right now we only have the Vietnamese dong, the Vietnamese dong, and the um, Iraqi dinar. Our broker also does have some um, circulated dinars, doesn't he, Tank? No. They're all gone. They're uncirculated oh, bundles. Oh, they're uncirculated bundles of 250 and 500. If you have any interest in those, you can call me and I'll give you those prices too. And by the way, this is our form. When you come to our landing page, that's what it looks like. Whoa, what just happened? <laughs> Unbelievable. I hit uh, one of our advertisers. But yeah, that's, that's our landing page. And when you scroll up at every page, there's all of our advertisers. If you have any need of any of these products, it would be an honor to be able to help you. If you have a question on any of these products, same thing, it would be an honor to help you. The uh, latest product that we brought in is uh, over here. Uh, it's called uh, Green Fuel. Green Fuel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you. God bless you. But um, the green fuel tab, you really should look at that. We are getting call after call after call of people telling us this stuff works. When you use it, you'll pick up anywhere from 20 to 40 extra uh, miles per tank. But after you use it for about a month or two, You'll be picking up anywhere from 80 to 100 extra miles per tank. Family, I call green fuel the, the Biden vaccine for, for the price at the pump right now. I love you. God bless you. Thank you for praying for me. And know that I pray for you. I'll see you again soon with a lot of data from our, our dear friend Walking Street. God bless you. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Love you. I love you. Bye.